An aspect of IDD therapy is the ability to distract and mobilise targeted spinal segments in a longitudinal plane. There's a standard treatment procedure when we do an IDD therapy and what I wanted to just show was some options to adjust some of the treatment parameters to create a treatment which is very much in keeping with Maitland principles of joint mobilisation. And we can do that because of the unique sinusoidal, it's called a sinusoidal waveform on the distraction force. Um, so just going to show you something on the computer um, and then see a treatment in action. So this is what an IDD therapy typical treatment looks like. Uh, we have a high distraction force uh, in this case it's 85, no, sorry, 90 pounds and then at the top when the joint is opened we have this um, oscillation which presently is 10 pounds. What I wanted to look at was the possibility to increase the amplitude of that oscillation. And so over here we can adjust the intensity. So if I increase that intensity by 10 pounds we can see here that we have a much greater degree of oscillation. Now in that one minute high tension the, 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 the frequency is, is quite high and may be uncomfortable as we go from uh, the top of the high distraction to, the, uh, to 20 pounds uh, lower during the, um, during the oscillation phase. But what we can do is we can adjust the frequency so that we have a more gentle oscillation. So here we have um, two peaks. So the joint is sort of opened and then <laughs> that probably looks quite strange, um, but we, but we, as you can see, we have a 20 pound or so roughly 10 kilo range of oscillation at the point that the joint is open. Another possibility that we can do is if we want to, this is this is quite a high tension. We might decrease the tension. So we've brought that down to 79 pounds. But again, if we wanted to go back to our uh, low intensity. If we wanted to increase the amount of time the joint is held open and then mobilized, I can adjust the high hold. And one second. And so now I have the joint opened for 90 seconds, so a minute and a half, and that gives us roughly four cycles of oscillation when the joint is distracted. So that's what it looks like on the screen. Now, I don't know whether anybody has actually felt this on a treatment because patients typically have a standard uh, treatment. Um, so, it's very close, <laughs> hello. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I'll go on the machine and, and I'm gonna test what a 20 pound oscillation feels like for, for 90 seconds. Okay, so I've had, um, I'm part way through a treatment now using a, a, a higher degree of oscillation of 20 pounds. We actually changed the treatment um, so, so that I had a higher initial tension. And compared to a 10 pound oscillation, I can actually, which I can't really, which I can't really feel. When I have the 20 pound oscillation, I get a much greater feeling. There's a, it's like a deeper stretch in my lower back. It's comfortable. Um, and as I think about how much high tension you want to use when using a higher degree of oscillation, I think you need to come down a little bit, um, but not. You don't need to take too much, uh, too much off. So as I don't know if you can see on the graph there, as the as the tension, there's a, there's a tracking, as the tension comes up to the high tension, we're opening the spinal segment, and then we are mobilising. And that's where we have this longitudinal oscillation now with 20 pounds. It's quite a lot. It is a lot. Um, but I can definitely feel much greater movement in my lower back with the higher oscillation than with just the basic 10 pounds, which is, for me, it, it's barely perceptible. For somebody who's a bit lighter, then, 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 perhaps, then perhaps it is. But... Um, Certainly for heavier patients, then, then, then it might be 
might be something to look at really to use the higher oscillation to get more movement back into the spinal segment. So I've just finished the treatment and uh, I have to say it was a very powerful treatment compared to other treatments that I've had. Um, if you just look at the screen, I'll just show you what, uh, what we did again. Um, but what I, Essentially we had the high distraction force and then I reduced the frequency of the oscillation which you can see there tracking and we increased that to 20 pounds. But the other thing that I did differently in order to get to accommodate these um, oscillations was I increased the high ten, the high hold sorry from 60 seconds or one minute to 90 seconds. I was just kept at the high tension for longer, and as a consequence, um, as a consequence, I, I think the treatment felt much deeper. Perhaps because I had the deeper stretch. When I came off the machine. I really felt like I had a very powerful treatment. I was quite, you know, I knew I knew about it. I've now had my um, cold therapy for 10 minutes, and, and whilst I'm not going to be doing any cartwheels, I can really feel that my lower back has been opened out, and I feel my posture is better. Um, I feel comfortable. I've got some cryoderm on there at the moment, so it's it's nicely tingling. But it was it was quite a different experience, and um, maybe something that. IED clinicians can think about for certain conditions, namely to increase the duration at the high hold and to put a deeper oscillation, uh, mobilization in um, for, for, for a kind of deeper therapeutic effect. Um, so yeah, that went well.